Abby, go! <laughs> Hey girls, guys, and all people like it is Mox here, and hello! Welcome back to the channel! I have not seen you guys in forever, and I will explain that in my next video, as soon as editing me gets to work and finishes editing that video. But I really wanted to come back because the, a new FNAF trailer just dropped. I'm so, so hyped for this. So let's jump straight into the trailer. Let's just get this thing moving. I missed you guys, by the way. It's been a good while. Anyway, let's hit play. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see oh. if the job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I won't Interesting. Take anything. This place was oh. huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Oh, that's not... That's not ideal. God, it looks so good. All you have to do. Oh, Easter eggs in the back. Keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. It looks so good. <laughs> Vanessa? Question mark. Oh, the music. You see? New security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Oh, I don't like the way she said that. Them. Oh, homie sleeping on the job. Oh, God. Oh, it's so cool, though. Eee. Oh. Ooh, is that our first good look at Foxy? Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. Oh, God. The place shut down. <laughs> there are those children possessing giant robots. Oh, I don't like heads up. I don't like that. They're animatronics. <laughs> what do they want? Ooh. They want to make her like them. Happy. Interesting. Tell interesting. So <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet so that you guys can hear stuff because. Happy, go. Is that who I thought it was? It is! It literally is! That is insane! Oh, I really like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? What is going on? Oh, I really like this, though. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just go back. First off, first impressions. That was insane. So let's just go through this. First off, he's talking to William Afton, who is under a different name. Steve Raglan, career counselor. I don't know what's up with that. That's kind of strange. Kind of weird. But, you know, I feel like it's not new for him to be taking aliases and different names and whatever. So, all right. Okay. Acceptable. Mike ends up taking the job, but he has to take his sister with him every day to the to the job. So I that makes more sense with some of the stuff I remember talking about previously. I really have to catch back up with my FNAF movie lore stuff because I have been away from YouTube and everything for like a month. And then we get the iconic line. He's just doing his job. Vanessa shows up and tries to explain the situation to him. I feel like this is pretty close to what I was saying in my predictions video and my like FNAF movie timeline video. I remember saying they're going to meet up at some point and she's going to have knowledge about the missing children and just Freddy's as a whole. And then she gives Mike that information and they either team up or don't team up or whatever happens, happens doesn't look like much of a team up. It really just looks like she shows up, tells him some information and then does like they kind of end up doing their own thing. At least that's the impression that I'm getting. But they are seen together what I assume is the police station or something it kind of looks like. So they do end up talking a little bit more about the situation. But there's so many cool scenes. I am not the biggest fan of her asking if he's met them yet and kind of having this like local legend type of thing, I guess. I don't I don't know. I've, that feels a bit weird. It feels like like it, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. Having it as like local legend just feels a little weird to me, but maybe maybe I'm just overthinking it a whole bunch. I'm also slowing down this footage for any hidden anythings. Dude falls asleep. Everything goes off. This is the prize corner it looks like, so we got a good look at a, the creepiest looking Chica mask I've ever seen in my life. Hey, but any of the animatronic masks possibly relate back to the FNAF 4 uh, with the old bite and, you know, Mike wearing the foxy mask and everything. I highly doubt that's gonna be in here. I just wanted to point it out. Dang, and then that is like straight out of the game. We get a pretty decent look at Foxy's like middle 
section, question mark? I think this is a better look than we got last time. Last time I just remember the shadow on his foot. Oh, very spooky. Again, the red eyes, not the biggest fan, but supposedly it's because they're controlled by William Afton. I was going to make a whole video about this, which I still might end up doing, but I feel like that's kind of old news at this point. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to talk more about it, but I'm still not the biggest fan of it visually. Just seems a bit weird, but that does seem like their aggressive mode. Oh, that's Hank, right? Is Hank like a janitor? Oh, then we get to see some of the kids. That I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm not really the biggest fan of them knowing it's the children possessing the animatronics, because I feel like that's a cool thing to end up learning naturally, not something that the characters know right off the bat. I like her line, they're animatronics. I think that's kind of funny. Foxy looks so good. He looks like he's like white eye, like no pupil, which I actually really like that design. If you've been on the channel for a little while, you know I love FNAF Plus and their designs. And Foxy doesn't have a pupil in FNAF Plus and it looks terrifying and I love the design. It's kind of just for this shot and he'll probably end up having a pupil just for the sake of consistency. But this is like a, a jump scare. So like, you know, it's fine. Can mess around with it visually. Is there anything like weird and different in here? Not that I can really see. There is a picture of Balloon Boy and I'm pretty certain Balloon Boy is in this movie or at least he was casted. So maybe he'll pop up in a flashback still, but still no, no visual on Balloon Boy yet, except for in drawings. Oh, okay. Should have known. <laughs> Foxy, full face right there. Awesome. Very cool. The animatronics look amazing. They look really accurate, but still like spooky enough. You know, like I mentioned this in previous videos, the FNAF animatronics are just not really scary anymore. Like, and that's a whole separate topic of people being desensitized to like spooky stuff. Like FNAF is like a kid's game nowadays, but they don't typically look scary. And it's nice to see them in like a scarier light. Not the best idea to take your sister to this job. A, a night guard job is not the best place for children. God, I like, I love that, that the hand coming out. This is insane. The man himself. So this would explain their like red eyes and why they kind of go crazy and everything. What is that as well? So like there's a kid being driven away. Could this be like kind of, some kind of flashback for Mike? Is this young Mike? Who's young Mike's kid casting? Editing me, get that up on screen because I don't remember. Here's another really good look at the animatronics. Again, in quick cuts, they're like spookier looking, but just at face value. Not the scariest, is <laughs> like, I don't know, Chica's like just stance is kind of funny to me. But <clears throat> in the movie, I'm sure they're gonna look great. And that's Vanessa like in the hospital. Okay, maybe they do have more of a connection than I was expecting and more of a relationship. Then there's him beating somebody up at the at the place. And there he is. I was not expecting him to be in this movie. Spring trap. that's insane. So like, he looks really good. A, a little less, I don't know. I need to see like a full image or I need to see him doing stuff because it's not as scary, but like that quick cut, really good. They they did an amazing job with the with the costume and that this knife pops up and everything. It looks so good. And then there's the like face scooper, geez. We've gone through the whole trailer. It's honestly amazing. I am so, so hyped for this. I especially love this like ending animation question mark. God help, I can't speak, can't speak words. But they did such an amazing job and I'm so, so hyped for this. It looks Again, fantastic. Um, my prediction is that, like everyone has been saying, the eyes are red because William Afton is there and either controlling them or he's making them extra aggressive in some way. If they really want to take stuff from the game, which I highly doubt, like the, the this is the least likely outcome. They see Mike, they know Mike because Mike has relations to, to Purple Guy. Highly doubt that's going to happen because it's hard to translate that game lore. We've talked about this a bunch already. Either they're controlled by Purple Guy, made more aggressive by, by Purple Guy, one of those, or in the games, I remember Phone Guy saying that they see you as like a threat or something. I think this was either a theory or it's something that Phone Guy said, I can't quite remember, but they see you as a threat because you're an adult, but they're like chill with the kids and everything. It kind of looks like the animatronics are going to be chill with Abby, which makes a lot of sense. I love that. So it's, I love that it's getting back to like the misunderstood haunted robots, which has kind of always been the theme, but I feel like, you know, it's lost its way as FNAF has progressed through the years, but I'm so excited. I'm really hyped. I'm also extremely curious why Abby's just chilling with Withered Freddy, it looks like, or like some kind of Withered Freddy or like a stand-in for Golden Freddy. Again, the lighting makes them seem very yellowy, but on this side, very brown. But I think they know what they're doing with the lighting and everything and making them look yellow and whatnot. And they have like this blue eye. And of course, blue eyes on robots means good, red eyes means bad, which is kind of a bit of a cliche, but it is what it is. They're just taking a taxi as well. I think that's so hilarious. I, I just I can't imagine what is going on in this scene, but it's clear that the animatronics are not just straight up evil. There's some background shenanigans going on. Oh, also real quick, actually. Yeah, right here. Employees of the month, 
right there is Docco. That's kind of fun. That's kind of cool. I'm sure maybe some of these guys are other YouTubers or something. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But I know that Docco's there because I saw his post on Twitter about it. I think that's kind of awesome. I love that. No sign of Markiplier, but I do remember Markiplier saying he wouldn't want to be in the FNAF movie as just like a, look, it's Markiplier and then that's it. I think he'd want to actually have a role. And I remember him saying there's a bunch of scheduling conflicts and stuff. So he there's it's unlikely he's in the movie. But yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of Easter eggs anyway. I'm so, so hyped. But what do you guys think? Are you guys hyped for the FNAF movie? Do you have any like comments, any predictions, anything you have to say? Let me know down in the comments below. Or you can message me on my Twitter, also linked down in the description below, uh, along with all my other socials, social media, whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so happy to be back making videos again. I'm happy that I'm starting with this one because I had another FNAF, like FNAF game video planned, but I'm happy to come back with this one because, you know, I got big off the FNAF movie stuff and I could not be more happy with the support I'm getting. Thank you guys so much for 18k subs, by the way. I hit that as I was away on my vacation, on my break and everything. And that's just so, so cool. And I'm really, really excited to do more videos, more videos expanding to different genres of games and stuff. I'll talk more about everything that happened uh, in my next video. But yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this. Stay tuned for more and goodbye.